What's poppin' ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the best Madden 19 channel on YouTube.com. If you want a free Madden 20 ebook as soon as it is released, follow the link in the description, get the top 50 to 100 weekend league package, or become a Patreon member. If you need help on defense, stopping all the glitchy crossing routes if you need help on offense money plays to beat cover two cover three and man coverage i got you you are at the right place let's go what's up ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another madden 19 video today we're going to be drafting a new squad but if you are new to the channel make sure you drop a like right now you should have been subscribed so we're going to jump into this ranked month draft i haven't did it all year and this is just a heads up to what madden 20 is going to bring it's going to be either online rigs gameplay it's going to be online rigs tips practice mode tips and then rank draft i'm going to get fully away from mutt unless i'm doing like a theme team right from the beginning but that will most likely be behind the scenes so right here we're going to do um uh, rank draft three tickets right here Cause we only got five tickets so first thing we're gonna do is pick our coach and I want y'all to let me know in the comment section what you would have did differently so right here we got the 4-3 defense right here we got the 4-3 defense with the West Coast Miami Dolphins so we're gonna pick the West Coast and the 4-3 so we're gonna go with the Miami Dolphins and we start off with a 99 overall Kyler Murray then we got Derek Carr right here we're gonna take Kyler Murray and draft champion so we got a chance to have a dual threat quarterback so right here we got uh, Dick LeBeau we got 94 cornerback from the Dallas Cowboys and we got Prince so let me see zone 89 zone 87 six foot six foot one we're gonna go with Prince. Even though I had a Lions in front of me, I didn't play with him all year in Madden, so I know exactly how he likes to play. So right here we got a beast of a user. We're gonna go ahead and take us a user, a guaranteed user right there. So one of them other overalls might be pretty decent. Right here, we're just gonna take the highest overall. So the draft is looking real good right now. So right here we got a chance between Hooker. Uh, Buda Baker and Shaquille Griffith so I think that we're going to take Malik Hooker in this round and hope that we get another chance at the cornerback later on so right here we got Aaron Jones 93 speed Melvin Gordon 91 speed break tackle 82 break tackle 88 as far as the speed go we're going to be able to get Aaron Jones we're going to take big boy Landon Collins we're going to take glitchy Landon Collins here we are on defense again so we already got right ends loaded up left ends so now we'll be able to get a big boy in the middle to go with uh short so we're gonna take short right there we had 91 overall still two rounds and now we get the 99 cornerback that we needed so we got to lead and we got uh rob woodson the for the secondary so we got three good targets as wide receivers plus we got Benjamin, he probably gonna be a little bit fast. So we definitely gonna take that 99 overall right there. Plus we still get another chance to boost up our offense. So we got Smith already. Now we have Hopkins, Foster, and AJ Brown and Guillen. So we gonna have to take somebody good for the cornerback. Let me see, 93 speed. Don't really need another running back. We're going to take hot. We got a 93 overall offense, 92 overall, and a 92 defense. This is what the team is looking like. We got Kyler Murray. We got a beast of a wide receiver core. A pretty decent offensive line all the way around. And on defense, our line is going to be nasty. We got people that we can fill in in all these different positions. So here we are starting the game off. And we on defense first, so we can get our opponent off the field. We only got to win three matches. Hopefully, we get some tickets or something back. I'm not sure how it really works, but we're going to set our defense up. We got the 4-3 defense, so we're probably going to come out in a lot of nickel blitzes. So we got Vinny Curry on one side, and he's calling the timeout. You can see he has Deshaun Watson leading the way 
We just got to be focused, stick to our game plan. I'm going to come out real aggressive. I'm going to send a lot of blitzes. So we're going to base the line, crash down, piece linebackers. We're going to bring him in right there. And this is how we're going to look. Quick passes is what I'm expecting. There's the blitz off the left side. Rob Woodson comes in for a sack. So that's what my defense is looking like. There's a quick pass. Nice setup right there. He's not going to fall for the juke move. He picks up about seven to eight yards. So he's doing exactly what I want him to do. He's getting rid of the ball fast. Not having a lot of time to make a decision. And there's the blitz. He's looking down the field. We made the proper adjustments and my team comes to ball. Big 4th and 21, he has to punt the ball right now. He has people open, but it's up to him to make the decision to get rid of the ball. And that's the reason why I like to run that blitz setup that I had. That time I moved everybody away from the line of scrimmage to make it seem like I was playing more of a coverage. So we in the uh, Miami Dolphins offensive playbook. So none of these are very familiar to me, but I got the basic concepts of uh, what I like to do. So we're going to spread this field out, hitting cover two, cover three. Shut up! So here we go on offense, setting up our offense. And right now we're just going to block this running back. We got to hurry up and hike it. So we got two double drags. I see him open right there. We're going to take our route. Nice juke move right there. We pick up about nine yards. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to uh, take our underneath routes. That was a quick hit to uh, Smith Jr. We're going to take our routes every single time. Whatever open, we're going to get rid of the ball fast. And we're going to play very smart defense. So he's open again. We're going to take our routes. Every time, if he's aggressive to me, I'm just going to dump it off. I'm not going to look down the field for a one-play touchdown unless I know that it's set up. So after a while, he's going to change and he's going to uh, watch that rope. So then we have to go to the back side if he does. So he watches it. I can see it open again. He goes forward for about a one yard pickup. I held it a little too long right there. I can't see any adjustments or changes that he do. So now we're going to hit him over the middle. We're going to give him that same type of look and I'm looking for Hopkins over the middle. So we're going to block him. Put him on that route right there. Hopefully he drops down on him. So the block's right there. There's Hopkins one-on-one. -on -one. And he baits me in. The zone play right there perfectly. I thought he was dropping down. That was Darius Slay. I thought he was dropping down to the quarterback. And I should have just uh, playmakered him up the field. I was expecting for that post to get open. But I think he manned some people up. So... Let's see if we can get some pressure on him again. I want him to start forcing the ball out of the backfield to the running backs. And that's exactly what he does. He throws it fast. I had the first uh, route that came out. So now we're able to start manning these people up. Now we're able to put more people in uh, coverage. So I'm watching that slant from the left side. Running back slant from the left side. So he does get out of the backfield. He had enough time because I eased off the blitz right there. So that was a good read by him. So now we're going to put auto flip on. Third and one right here. He might go into a big formation to try to run the ball. So we're going to go into the over. So it's going to be some underneath slants. Stay right here. And the pressure gets to him. We're going to call a timeout. I don't want to get stuck in that defense two times in a row. The pressure gets to him. I took that first read from him. So we got to get in that fast right here. We're going to put the spy over there too. I'm going to stay right here. 
two people in the area and we get the ball right back. So now we can go right back to our offense. Our offense been working. Just got to be more patient. More patient with the ball. This time he's playing three deep. So it looks like my opponent is kind of giving up. He might run commit. So we're going to hit him over the top with Foster right here. We're going to max protect. Good throw. Hopkins for the touchdown. I was kind of hesitant because I was looking for my underneath rope. And I can see he had a one step on this guy. So I just lobbed it over the top. Hoping that his guy didn't get that uh, animation where he got a speed boost. Hopkins for six. So let me see what's his quick read. So it's a run play. Everything is bottled up. He has Derrick Henry. So that's a big defensive stop by me. So second and seven right here. He tries to sneak the run in. So then he probably going to come back with like a play action. Or he's just trying to get to the hash marks. So a lot of different things you got to think about. So screen pass, we right over there for the secure tackle. Good job by my defense once again. I manned up Dupree that time, and he was all over. The pressure gets to him again, we're going to call a timeout. 